Back in the day, in a time when the world was new and the sky was fresh, when ancient creatures still walked the land with gods and spirits. On the shores of Hawaii was a village, perched between the rustling palms and the pounding surf. In this papakainga lived Mahawi with his mother and his four older brothers. Each night, under the glittering net of stars, Maui's brothers would brag of the ika they would catch, far out to sea at their secret fishing spot. Mine will be huge as, boasted the eldest brother. Mine will be long as, stretched the second brother. Mine will be mean as, growled the third brother. Mine will be fat as said the fourth brother. Mine will be an ika nui rawa, the biggest fish of them all, said Maui. Eh too, said Maui's brothers. Stand up when you talk at the poor tiki. Oh, that's right, little bro. You already are standing up. <laughs> Forget it, Tamaiti, scoffed the eldest brother. You're too small, said the second brother. You're too weak, laughed the third brother. And too annoying, added the fourth brother. Maui stomped off into the night. He wandered along the beach, kicking stones into the moonlit waves. As he slinked in shadows behind the waka lined up on the shore, he had a mischievous idea. He clambered into his brother's fishing canoe and hid there until morning. At first light, when the sun's rays chased away the last straggling stars, Maui's brothers loaded the waka with everything needed for their fishing trip. Got the hooks and nets, said the eldest brother. Ah. And kaimwana for bait, said the second brother. Don't forget the anchor. Huffed the third brother. Oh, did you fellows hear something? Asked the fourth brother. Nope. They gripped their hoy with strong hands. Working together and using the ocean's currents, they paddled out past the crashing breakers, singing a waiata to keep in time. They followed the seabirds towards their secret fishing spot. It wasn't long before Maui was discovered. His brothers called him Trickster. Maui Tinihanga. Maui's brothers were angry, but the tides were flowing in the wrong direction to take their cheeky little bro back to shore. They gave Maui a hoy and told him to paddle hard. How much further? I'm bored already. Are we there yet? Eventually, they reached their secret fishing spot so far from land that the green shores of Hawaii had disappeared. A long white owl stretched across the lip of the ocean. Maui's brothers set to work, baiting their hooks with kaimwana and dropping them into the glass sea waters. For some reason, the fish were not biting on that day. It's your fault, Maui, said his eldest brother. Your bad luck, huffed the second brother. You frightened all the ika away, moaned the third brother. And you're annoying, complained the fourth brother. Maui may have been annoying, but it was something else which had frightened away the fish. Maui pulled out his special hook. A splendid tower made from his grandmother's jawbone. His brothers were not impressed. Don't rock the waka. Can you bait my motto? Maui, sit down, you egg. As soon as Maui dropped his hook over the side, there was a tremendous tug on the line. It's an eel! 
Grigum, the eldest brother with excitement. It's a shark! Snapped the second brother. It's a whale! Wailed the third brother. It'll sink us! Cried the fourth brother. Cut it loose! But Maui would not cut the line. He wanted to show off to his brothers. Whatever it was, the fish was huge. It dragged them far into the vast southern ocean. Kyokoha! Maui told his brothers to stay strong. Together, they strained on the fishing line. The ocean bubbled and swirled around them. White foam sprayed their cheeks and their hands ached from foot. The clear waters turned to shadow beneath them, stretching off as far as the eye could see. Maui and his brothers kept hauling until they found themselves stranded on top of the biggest fish they had ever seen. It's as big as an island, said the eldest brother. It'll feed us for years, grinned the second brother. Let's cut it up, said the third brother. I can't believe that annoying pipsqueak caught it, complained the fourth brother. It's my great fish, crowed Maui, the smallest of them all. It's awesome. Come out, we. Maui told his brothers not to damage the fish until he had blessed it with a karakia. But the brothers hacked and slashed until the fish was cut into sharp ravines and jagged mountain ranges. That is why we have Maui to thank for fishing up the north island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. It was a time when legends became history. But it wouldn't be the last time Maui got himself into trouble. Ka mutupia. The end.